So we've finished our report and we're ready to distribute it to our teams, right? And this is where the Power BI online service is absolutely crucial. It's such a crucial part of that, um, of getting your insight out to the right people at the right time, okay? So obviously, you know, you could, you could utilize Power BI Desktop as a way to showcase insights, right? But the Power BI online service, which is a cloud service, is a far more effective way to do it, and you can get a very similar experience to what you have in the desktop, Power BI Desktop. Okay, so I'm gonna um, go to the home ribbon here, and I'm gonna go publish, okay? And basically what we are doing here is, obviously you wanna save it as well, hopefully you've been maybe saving, you've, you've been saving your your report as well as, as you've been working working through it, but I'm just gonna save it. Um, and if you aren't log it, logged in, like I'm actually logged in here, what it might ask you to do is actually log in, but what, um, uh, as I'm already logged in, it just now brings up this pop-up box, publish to Power BI, and what I have here is I've got a range of different uh, workspaces in which I can publish my um, model two and my 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 sort of like reporting application two. You'll all everyone will have my workspace, as that is um, uh, native to anyone who has a um, Power BI login, and it's basically just like your private workspace. And then you might have all a range of different groups um, here that have been created for your teams or your business functions, etc. Yeah, this is where you can group your reports into the specific niche that it needs to go out to, okay? What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put it into my workspace because it's just me sort of just like demoing how, to, how, how, how it works and it's not really relevant to some of these other groups that I have um, within, my, uh, within our organization. And so I'm just gonna go select and then this is going to basically push all of the information and that includes everything we've done in the query editor the data model it's called it's called metadata and what, what's basically happening is all of this is being pushed up into the cloud okay and so usually doesn't take that long if you've got a good internet connection and then what we want to do now is we want to actually now log in to the power bi online service okay so i'm going to do that now so if you can just you can you can go there in a number of different ways, but one way you can do it is just by going powerbi.com and then signing in this way. And depending on if you're sort of already logged into Office 365, because remember this is all linked up through Office 365, um, you will usually you know log in straight away. Okay, so much has been improved on here. Um, from the from from when Power BI first came out, it's 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 unrecognizable, honestly, um, and it's so much better. Uh, yeah, there's there's all the functionality that you would need to get these insights out quickly. Now, if you think about like where this fits in, in historically, so before Power BI even existed, right? The the only way the the general way within organizations that insights were distributed was you would work away in Excel and you'd have these crazy Excel models, and then you'd spend all this time getting it into PowerPoint, right? And then you would then go present a PowerPoint presentation, um, maybe in a meeting, um, and half the time no one would even read it. This is just from personal experience, honestly. And uh, and I'm sure some of you might be laughing at that because it's exactly what happens in your organization. The thing about Power BI though is it's, it's it can become more real time. Like you don't need to just wait and have monthly reports or weekly reports. You can literally have reports live all the time, updating in the background, maybe daily or something like that. And then you can set up your um, online service to be able to quickly navigate in and out to the insights that you need, right? Now let's just have a look down this left hand side. Well, I guess this this front page you can you can actually make this quite customized. So yours might look very different to what I'm looking at here. But basically, you can customize what you actually see here. You can favorite certain reports or da or dashboards, etc., and put them in here. Um, recent ones you, you you've gone into apps. So I will go into apps in a little bit um, and uh, workspaces, etc. So this can, as I say, this can be totally different. Um, but you know, in terms of but it's but it's great you didn't used to be able to see this uh, you didn't used to be able to customize this this area at all it didn't even used to exist um so what you can do now is you know you can fully make this as unique as you want to your circumstances or to your whatever you need it for
Okay, now a couple of things before we, we dive into um, sort of dashboards and apps and maybe how you can use this more effectively. Let's just have a look down the left hand side here. Um, the, the one thing I want to sort of dive into is workspaces here, right? So workspaces are basically, as I was saying before, you know, where you're going to put certain pieces of analysis based on who you want to see it. So they're kind of like the groups in terms of, you know, who's going to be part of a group that sees a certain piece of analysis. Because sometimes some insights might only be for, say, management. Some insights might be sort of daily insights, um, you know, market insights or sales insights or inventory insights or something like that. Um, you know, digital marketing insights. You know, that could be for each of those different reports could be for different groups within your organization. Um, and this is how you can break it down, right? You can break down who sees it based on which work, um, workspace others have access to. Okay, and so I've got a few here. Um, and what you can do is you can click through um, depending on w which one you want to see. So um, the showcase, we, uh, all of the showcases that we have uh, on our website, like here, right, on our showcase page, um, enterprisedna.co Power BI showcases, those all actually sit within this particular workspace that we have so that we can easily manage them and then we've embedded them into the web and then put them onto our website. But um, within here, you have a setup where you can click on the workspace and then you can see the dashboards, the reports, the workbooks, data sets and, da and data flows, okay? I just wanna focus on a few things here. Reports, reports are basically the Power BI desktop reports that you have um, published into this particular workspace, right? So we can see here all of the different showcases are located within this particular report. Then we have workbooks, but this is generally sort of like an Excel workbook like um, that might be um, feeding into a report. This is where it would, would sit. Um, then you've got data sets. These are the data sets that are coming in from Power BI Desktop. And then you've got data flows, which is a little bit more advanced, but um, that basically is a way in the cloud you can create a, an ETL tool, which, is, which stands for Extract, Transform, and Load. It's, um, it's basically enables you to, instead of using Power BI Desktop, um, the query editor and Power BI Desktop to bring in lots of different data sets, you can actually do it on the, in the cloud here. And it can be more... Um, sort of more scalable because instead of having different thing, different um, connections and transformations done in, in a query edit, an individual Power BI desktop folder file, you can do it in a more centralized place here where other people can actually grab the data flow and, 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 and put it into their own model. So it just brings a bit more scale to that back end. But I, I, you know, it's, it's, it is a little bit more advanced. Like if you're just starting out, I wouldn't get t too worried about it and too into it. Um, Basically, you know, the key thing here is, is reports. This is where the Power BI desktop reports go, right? You can also look down this left-hand side and see um, the report, all, all, the de all of the details as well, okay? Now, I'm gonna click on my workspace because I placed that report. I've got some other things in here as well, but I just placed that report into here and we need to go and just find that report, right? So I've got a few here. It's down the bottom for me, um, UBG to Power BI model. I'm gonna click on that and then it's gonna bring up exactly the same experience that we had in Power BI Desktop is now inside of Power BI Online. So you'll see here that a few things aren't perfect, which I don't like, so we might need to adjust these a little bit in Power BI Desktop. You see here that we can't see the full dates, which is a bit, was a bit frustrating. But in terms of functionality, you know, we now can start user, utilizing this um, in, in um, uh, the web, right? In a, in a in a in a cloud, you know, based on the 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 metadata now being in the cloud, we can start using it in the cloud and it can be accessed really anywhere, um, on any device with an internet connection, which is pretty cool. And we can change if we wanted to um, change up, you know, the screen. We can do so as well, so we can make it sort of more immersive, um, which I really like this as well. So this is really really cool. You can put this up on a big screen in your office. You know, and you've got this dynamic way that you can really um, you know drill into insights, which is really really powerful. Okay, so that's, you know, this is sort of just like introduction to the online service, how you would use it. Um, but, you know, there's a, there's a lot you can do here, right? And um, a lot has been updated of late. So uh, it's pretty exciting where this is where this has come from and where it is now. Um, and I'm sure it's going to just keep getting better, which is, which, which is really great. Okay, so let's move on. I want to just dive into quickly, you know, sort of what's a dashboard and what's an app. And we're going to do that next.